I have a super exciting project for you guys out there, especially families. I have a project called Sunflower Snakes and Songbirds. So if you make up a batch of salt dough, there's three different things that you can sculpt together or as a family or everybody could do theirs individually. Um, it's just really a fun project. Hey, Kai, you want to say hi? Yeah. So anyway, um, I really, really, really encourage you guys to try this one. This is something that you can... <laughs> You can um, do with the entire family. Acrylic paint does work the very, very best. So if you can get your hands on some of that, that you'll have a better result. But uh, it's just a great project. It's good for their sculpture. It's good for their painting skills. Encourage everybody to take time to do lots of details with their painting. And it'll be a great fun project for everyone to do. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you give it a try. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to make a salt dough songbird. You can really do anything out of salt dough, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a songbird, songbird little sculpture. So I've taken my salt dough. This is a little bit drier than I like it. So I just take my hands in a little bit of water and I work um, probably this size, which is maybe a golf ball size piece of clay until it's nice and smooth and elastic. And this is going to be my base for my songbirds to sit on. Okay, so I'm just going to put it down on my counter. Okay, and then I um, I went outside and I got a stick, and this is where my songbird will go. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that into my base and get it just the way that I like. And hopefully that's pretty secure. I'm going to cut this piece off. And that's where I'm going to insert my songbird. Okay? And now I'm going to do the head. And I hold my fingers like this. I'm just going to pinch and turn to make the little head. I don't want to pinch the head off. I'm just sculpting the head. So I'm pinching and turning, pinching and turning. Doo, 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 just like that. Pinch and turn. And then for the body, I'm going to do the same thing. And this will be where the tail will come off. And again, if your clay is cracking, add a little bit more water and start over. I could have even used a little bit more water. Okay. Now as I get down to the tail, this is a little bit more square on most songbirds. So I can make that square bring it out to a point. So I'm going to grab just the smallest amount on the head and now just using these two fingers 
I'm going to pinch and turn till I get a beak. And then if I decide my head maybe I need a little bit more, I can add a little bit more clay for the head if I want to. Is make the hole where it will go on here eventually. And you can let it dry there, that's fine, and paint it this way. Or maybe you're going to hang your songbird. This is when you can readjust the bottom of your base to get it to be just the way that you like. I'll pick mine up so you can see that when I paint this, that'll be a cute little songbird I want to stick here. After you have all the sculptures made, make sure that you let them air dry until they're completely dry. You can put them in the oven at about 200 and speed up the process a little bit if you want, but uh, it's really important that they're dry before you start the painting process. So the next set of videos will show you how to paint.